Hey, what's up? This is the last video about Cubot X19. We already made unboxing, performance test and battery test of this phone. It's time to talk about camera. Cubot X19 is a budget smartphone, so it has standard camera lens. However, the main question is, does it have a real dual camera on the back? Let's find out. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. Cubot X19 has a dual rear camera, 16 megapixel main sensor with f2.0 aperture and 2 megapixels secondary sensor for bokeh effect. And Tudor and other benchmarks don't show the second sensor. It means that the second sensor on the back is not used for bokeh effect. It is fake. The selfie camera has 8 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture. This is Sony IMX 219. Talking about camera app, it doesn't differ from other MediaTek devices. There are two big buttons on the bottom, photo and video. On the top you can find panorama mode, bokeh effect, beauty and others. The settings menu is also standard. There is GPS location, exposure, white balance, as well as anti-shake, face detection, photo and video resolution. Also, you can find electronic image stabilization in video settings. Now let's look at real sample photos. Cubit X19 makes really nice photos in daytime. They have good detail and colors. As I have said many times, all budget phones make the same photos in good light. The front camera is also good. You can use it to make high-quality selfies. As for the bokeh effect, it is fake. The benchmarks don't show the second sensor. In practice, there is the circle in the center and the area around it is blurred. Yes, you can make pictures with bokeh effect, but this is very uncomfortable because you have to do everything manually. The photos in low-light conditions are grainy, but I have seen worse images on budget smartphones. Cubot X19 makes pretty good photos for its price. As I already said, there is electronic image stabilization in the video settings menu. Of course, the footage is not as smooth as on a flagship phones, but still good. Cubit X19 is a very interesting smartphone because of its low price. Of course, you cannot expect high-quality photos from $120 phone. 
However, it makes really nice images in daytime and even in low light conditions. The dual camera is fake, and the second sensor on the back is not used for bokeh effect. Thanks for watching this video. In description, I will leave the links where to buy this phone. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.